boys and girls, how are you guys doing today? It's a Monday. It's a Monday. Good morning, Miss Marianne. Good morning, Cheryl. How are you? How was your weekend? Good. Good? Uh -oh. I know that you studied math this weekend, didn't you? Sure. sure. Uh-huh. Can you take yourself back to Friday and what, what, what we discussed in class? Um, the, it's one of the math properties. The dis. Disruptive property? The disruptive property? Mm, not quite. It does start with a D. Miss Alice, can you help us out? The disruptive property. Destructive? <laughs> Man, this, you guys have all kinds of good D words. It's oh, Monday. Property. Oh, I got to sleep. I you, was trying to you didn't get any it. sleep this weekend? Yeah, I just want to go back to sleep. You just want to get back to sleep? Yeah. Well, maybe after math class, during recess, you can take a nap out by the tree. But then I want to play. Well, it's going to be your choice. Whatever you want to do at recess, you can either play or sleep, but you can't do either in math class. Okay. So the distributive property. Taylor, do you remember what that property says? Can you use some letters and give me what it means? A times B. Plus C Alex. equals A plus B <laughs> No, I'm wrong. It's A times B. Plus A times C. Plus A times C. Very good. Candy. Very, very good. Yeah, we'll we'll add up the candy at the end of the class and see how much Taylor gets. And sh maybe Shaley, you can outbeat Taylor with her candy this time. Ooh. So if we put it with numbers, it means that five times six plus two in parentheses is the same as saying five times six plus. Five times two. And then you multiply these two together and you get 30. You multiply five times two and you get 10. And then you add those two and you get 40. Ms. Shayla, can you read this one for me? Uh, four times seven plus two plus three in parentheses. Parentheses. And what does that equal, Miss Alex? Four times seven plus four times two plus four times three. And then what do you do, Miss Taylor? You add those all up. Well, first of all, you multiply them. Oh, you multiply the four and the seven to get twenty-eight, the four and the two to get eight, and the four and the three to get twelve. And then you add those up to get forty-eight. Very good. Very good. Now, Miss Chris is going to come and do some um, visual display with you. Miss Miriam, Shayla's being allowed. I know. We're just going to try to let Shayla go on to her own little world right now, and we're just going to pay attention to math. Okay. Hello. Hi, Miss Christy. Hi. You have a white belt on today. Hello class. Hi Miss Christy. Hi. We're going to do examples of the commuter property. For example, the color blue and yellow. What color does that make? Blue and yellow. What color does that make? Purple. No. She's wrong. It makes <laughs> green. Yes, that is correct. Smarty pants. What is so. an example of the commuter property using the same two colors? Oh, me, me, me. Yes. Would it be yellow plus blue? Yes, that is correct. Does anyone have another candy. example? What? Give me some candy. I've got no candy. you got candy? Yes. Red plus yellow equals like orange, candy. and it will be the same as yellow plus red equals orange? That is correct. What? I didn't see that. I didn't hear that. You should have been listening. You're not the teacher. You can't tell me what to do. You still should have been Red and yellow do make orange. And she said that yellow and red also make orange. Well, that's what the picture says. I got another one. Yes. Red plus
plus blue equals purple. That is correct. That's not how you spell purple. It's okay. Violet and purple are the same thing. Nuh uh. Nuh uh, because they're spelt different. They're the same thing, aren't they, Miss Christie? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Shh. What is an example? Violet mean? starts with a V and purple it's starts with a P. Still purple. <laughs> what is an example of the commutative property using the same two colors? Wait, which one? Blue plus red. Yeah. It's purple. Yeah. <laughs> That is correct. Now Miss Shayla will come up and do a hands-on activity with you. Hello everyone. Everybody having a good day? No. Mary and you're not having a good day? No, I'm not. What's the matter? My mama beat me this morning. <laughs> Marion, we'll talk about that. Marion, we'll talk about that. Marion, 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 bring it back. We'll talk about that after class, okay? I'll bring you back some more. Where you were. You can't talk to Alex right now. We have to learn, okay? Because I have a surprise for everybody. You got $100 for us? No, not that kind of surprise. She's not going to give us $100. Well, I have one oh. block. Yes, everybody's going to get. Here you go. Here you go, Marion. Thank you. Now, we've been learning about commutative property. So what I want you guys to do right now is give me. Look at all my blocks. I see them, Marion. You gonna keep them all in one place because we don't want to lose them, right? It is. It's all over my desk. Okay. Let's but look, see. I can throw them. Let's not throw, okay? Because I don't want to lose them. You going to buy me another one? You got to buy the school one if you lose them. I don't have a job. My mama says I can't work. All right. I suggest you don't lose them. Let's get five groups of four. Everybody get five groups of four blocks on your desk, okay? Can we stack them? You can do whatever you want with them as long as they're the right numbers. Can I throw four at Taylor? No. no. <laughs> you keep them on your own you desk, Marion. I can do whatever I want to do. As long as they stay on your desk, Marion, okay? See? Ha! Alright, Taylor. Why she Sorry, she's being mean to me. I know. I'm not being mean. She's being mean to me. Taylor, she's do blowing your work. my blocks over. You and Christy have only good ones in here. Alex, that's not a nice thing to say. Let me come check on your work. It's probably wrong. One, two, three, my four. My goodness, you guys are upset today. Is it because it's Monday? Yes, of course. Three, goodness. four. Come on, come on, come on. I'm done. Look, I got glasses. <laughs> I see. You want to try my glasses? No, not right now, Marion. So try them at recess, okay? We sure do do a lot of things at recess. Yes, we do. Because that's playtime. Right now it's time to learn. I am learning. Good. Now. Because you're a good teacher. Thank you. That's so sweet. Now we have five groups of four. Can somebody tell me the multiplication problem for that? Christy? If she can, I can. Because I'm okay, smart. Let's see. Is. Let's see first, okay? Smart. Five times four. Good, good. I know what that equals. Twenty. Hey. <laughs> Thank you, Taylor. But next time, raise your hand, okay? Yes, Taylor. It's twenty. Thank you. She thinks she's so smart. Smarter yeah, than all, you. All are smart. No, I'm the smartest, aren't I? I'm not gonna say that. Okay. But if we did the commutative property, what would this be? Let Marion have a chance to answer. It would be four times 20 equals five. Let's look again. If 20 is the answer, it belongs on this side, on the right side of the equal sign. Oh, so it would be four times five equals 20. 
awesome. That's exactly Papa, I'm right. awesome. You're just smart. All right. She's being nice. Hey, um, she's touching me. Stop. She's pulling my hair. All right. See, if this is, this is the multiplication problem for this, this means that there are five groups of four, right? So that if this is the commutative property, this would be what? Can anybody tell me? The associative property? No, honey, that's not what I'm asking. If this is five groups of four, when we rewrote this, what would it be in these words? Four groups of five. Good, Alex. All right, you guys did awesome. Let's check it with our multiplication grid, okay? Five groups of four. Let's see. Now we have our five groups of four, which is five times four. Then we have our four groups of five, which is four times five, the commutative property, and it equals 20. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you. Awesome, Marion. Now, let's have Miss Taylor come and show you guys. Well, let's see if you guys can do it on your own, okay? Okay, today I'm going to hand out a worksheet, and you're going to be able to use your blocks with these, and um, you're going to have to write the commutative property of each, um, <laughs> of each one, okay? So we're going to do the first one together, okay? Okay, so if 9 times 3, what's the commutative of 9 times 3? Commutative property. Go ahead, Chrissy. 3 times 9. Good job. Show off. Now, Marion, must be nice. I was okay. being nice. I didn't call her a hot shot. <laughs> so, on the paper, I'm going to hand each of y'all, <laughs> listen. I'm going to hand each of y'all a paper, and you're going to go down and write the commutative property of Ms. each Taylor, one, okay? Miss Taylor, Miss yes, Taylor, Taylor. I, I know the actual answer. Okay, we're going to get to that in just a minute, okay? Oh, man. You can write it on your paper so you won't forget it. How about that? Okay. Okay. So here. I don't have a pencil. Well, we'll, well you should have brought one, Marion. My mama took it from me because I stabbed my little sister with it. <laughs> that is not good. So my mama that. didn't think it was hey, good either. Marian. We'll talk about that later, okay? So I don't got a piece of paper. Go down the list. Oh, yeah, I do. Go down the list and write the community properties, and then we'll, um, we'll raise our hands and we'll do the answers next, okay? Shayla's not sitting in her seat. It's okay. Tell, tell. So I don't have to sit in my seat? Um, as long as you're doing your work, you can stand up. Can I hop? No. You just stand, just stand up. up. But, but you gotta stay sitting. where you are. You can't run, run around, okay? Hey, Marion, I'm winning. Hey, Shayla. No, you're not. Y'all. Shh. Speak quiet and hurry okay. up and finish your I work, okay? I beat you in a race at recess. Marian. You did it. You cheated. Marion and Shayla. I can cheat. Y'all behave, okay? I like so to we cheat. So can't, we can't go to recess if y'all don't behave, okay? Yeah. I'm coming to help. I don't understand the last one. Well, we'll go over it as a group, okay? Just do your I don't think I want to do this anymore. Marion. Marion. Don't do that. Yeah, because I don't want to do it anymore. Well, you won't get a grade for it. So. Mm. Are you going to show my mom? Yeah. You're going to get in trouble. We're going to sit at home and It won't be the first time I get in trouble. I get in trouble every day. Okay, is so everybody finished? Yes. Okay, let's go over it as a group, okay? So, who has the next question? The 4 times 5 equals what? 20. Okay, that's right, but what's the commutative property of that? Ugh, it's five times four. Good job. Why do you guys say it like that? Because you're supposed to know that, Miss Hotshot. I'm not okay, a hotshot. I'm, I'm, I'm awesome. The teacher's talking. Do y'all talk? <laughs> yes. No, Marion. You're not supposed to, okay? I'm not supposed to, but I do. Miss Taylor, Marion's going to jail. Shayla. I don't need to see your mama. 
I'm going to tell. Okay. Tell. Who you so, tell? Christy, can you tell me what the commutative property of seven times one is? One times seven. Good job. It's seven. Miriam, we're gonna get that done in just a minute, okay? Okay. So, somebody tell me what three times eight the commutative property. Oh, 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 oh. Eight times three. Good. See, I told you I was smart. She's taking my drink. Miss Taylor. Kayla. I think she spit in it. You want to taste it and see? No. We're not supposed if to you taste it class right now. We're if you taste it, then I'll taste it. Okay. Five times seven. What's the community property? Can you tell me, um, Alex? Seven times five. Good job. So now, Miss <coughs> Miss Alex is going to come up here and um, tell y'all what we're going to do next. Okay. Man, it's still ripping paper. She's going to jail. You don't go to jail for ripping paper, stupid. Shayla and Marion. Okay, We're going to take a quiz. Oh You're man, I don't want to. Tidbit. Why? Because I already know how to rip paper. Marion, you cannot rip your paper. I don't want to quiz. That's me. Thank you. Can I jump up and down while doing my quiz? Can you, can you jump up and down? No, you can't. Before we take our quiz, can we just do a quick jump and down and then we'll get we're done? Just one and time. Then we can take our quiz. Come on, Miss Alice. We'll get our energy out. Just one, one time. Jump, okay. Woo! I can jump higher. Okay, Alright, thank you. I jumped higher than everybody. Did I jump higher than everybody? Yes, it did. Ha 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 ha. Shut up, Marion. Quiet. It's not nice to tell people to shut up. Did your mama never tell you that? No. Yeah. Or she did, I wasn't listening. Because you're too busy talking. Shh. Maybe. Maybe it's business. What is this C word? What is the C word? What's C word? This C word. Complete. Just complete the answers. In my head? No, on the paper. Uh, I can't do it because Mary is talking. Okay. No, Mary won't shut up. Haha. <laughs> I'm gonna get you in trouble. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you up by the tree at recess. No. Beat you up. Give you like Chrissy, eye. can you please trade with me? They're not paying attention. Say Thank you. I don't want you to my paper. You have the greatest. I don't want her cooter cooties. Shh. She got cooties. Exchange papers. She got cooties. I want to change with Here. you. Here. Would you like me to? Them yes, yours. please, kids. I don't want to Can touch I have your paper? Okay, I'm going to draw a big nice. sad face on her paper because it makes Alice. me sad. Shh. It makes me sad okay. that she's got cuties. First question. And she's never going to get married. She touched me. If you have two times seven plus three <gasps> equals what times seven? Ask Taylor, she Taylor. knows. Two in the first one and three in the second one. <coughs> you made a funny. <laughs> <laughs> if they have the answer correct, then you can check next week. And if they have it wrong, they have it wrong. she yeah. marked mine wrong and it was right. I'm going to double check this. We're not doing it. Question number two. At least I don't have, have a tail. one times five plus four equals one times five plus one times four. I yell long, louder. Thank you guys. Next time somebody raise your hand. If they have it correct, mark it up. Yeah, you do care. Okay. Two times seven will be the same as seven and two. Seven times two. Seven. Or seven yeah. plus seven. Is We're that not, not the same? About addition. Hush. She told me to hush. Because you're wrong. Seven. We're not talking not about wrong. addition. Seven plus seven is the same as two times seven. They have it right. It's wrong. I don't like her. Christy, you want to answer this one? Two times five. Why does Christy get the answer? Why can I answer? Five times two. She doesn't like you. She thinks I'm prettier than you are. 
She so told me you the beautiful. Don't you don't no. you think so, Miss Alex? Miss Alex, why aren't you talking to me? Do you not yeah. like me? Are you grading Shayla's face? I'm poking myself. She's crazy. I'm not okay. crazy. Well, Your grandmother's question, crazy. You got the song. We have three times two plus one. We'll just be saying it's three times two plus three times one. Has anybody saw? Is that where you multiply the three it's to two nine. and get oh, oh, six? And get six. Wait a second. I want to do Everybody it. Talking, Can I do it? Hand, please. Yes, My please. hand it's is nine. higher. Thank you. I don't think so. Okay. Your brain. And you got to nine how? What did you get for three times two? Six. That's nine. Okay. Three times one? Three. Four. Why can't it equal eight? <coughs> because three times two, it's not three plus two. Hey. No, six plus three. Why can't that equal eight? Six plus two. Shut up, Mary. Count on your fingers, Mary. In six, seven, eight, nine. Can I take off my shoe and pop my toes instead? No. Ew. <laughs> your feet stink. They do not stink. Your breath stinks. Last question, four times what equals what? Eight. Three. Why not eight? You're welcome. Okay, class. The... Okay, tally up how many of they got correct on their quiz. And write the number at the top of the I got a hundred. I got a hundred. I got a hundred. Marion and Shayla. Separate. Don't say anything else. That's the bell. It's time to go outside. I'm going to beat you up at the tree. Let's see you try. I will. Come here.